The next is down imaging made easy. Same thing, it's as easy as one, two, three. You're going to set the area of coverage, uh, which I recommended wide. You adjust your sensitivity and you adjust your contrast. You can see this is down imaging through side imaging and you can see extreme levels of detail uh, through this system. Um, this is where you go in. If you're in down imaging, you hit your menu button once. It'll bring up this express menu and you can set your down imaging beam width to narrow. I prefer the wide setting because it gives me the most coverage area. This is an example of factory defaults of 10. Uh, I like to adjust my sensitivity 12 to 14. Uh, it makes the data stand out. You can see these trees aren't fully developed with all the data that's available. Um, increasing that sensitivity will help that out. Uh, you want to set your contrast from 8 to 12. You, this image, the contrast has been set to darken up the image to make those fish jump out at you. If you can't see them fish, uh, go play with it. Learn how to learn the effects of these because this makes it so much easier when you set it. You pretty much set for the day, and you can go fishing afterwards. But you need to learn how to super tune your unit to get the most out of it. Next thing is super super tuning our 2D sonar. Basically, there's only two settings that you really need to be concerned with is selecting your switch fire mode and adjusting the sensitivity. Uh, first we need to understand what switch fire is. If you look at this image here and you see this black circle is actually how a sonar ping is transmitted in the water. You actually have outer or side lobes in the in the beam. You see our 20 degree cone is represented by red here in clear mode, we're only looking at that most intense part of the sonar signal. In max mode, we look at the side lobes and the most intense part in the center portion of that to bring all that data in. So you're actually going to get more coverage with, with max mode than you will with clear mode. Uh, clear mode filters out a lot of the plankton, algae, bacteria, that type of stuff to make it easier uh, to see fish and see structure. Uh, here are some examples. We're going to just start at sensitivity of 2 in clear mode. Uh, we adjusted up to 4, to 6, to 8, 10. This is factory defaults in clear mode. Uh, you can see with my strength returns, blue being the weakest, red being our strongest, look how these fish start popping out. That is the thing I'm looking for, is to make those fish jump out but that strongest and filter out some of the clutter. 14, you can see 16, we're increasing it more. It's a little harder to find that big fish out of that group. Uh, 18 and 20. My favorite probably would be the 12 because it made, in this situation, the you can see these larger fish jumped out a little bit more red than the other images. Now this is max mode on the exact same image. This is actually a sonar recording that I took the pictures out of to make them exactly the same. You can freeze your unit with that four-way cursor and do the exact same thing to get this your side imaging, your down imaging, and your 2D sonar sensitivity dialed in. Here is two, here's four, here's six. Now look at eight. It starts getting some some clutter, our blue clutter. Here's ten, we got a lot more, we got twelve, fourteen, sixteen, Wow, you can't hardly tell anything where the singulate them fish because we got so much clutter on the screen. 18 and 20. My recommended would be that sixth level. I hope that helped you learn what the value of learning your settings. Uh, these units are not just set it and forget it. If you go out there and you learn the effects of those settings, it will help you become a better angler. Uh, use those, those quick
quick setup guides. Um, if you join my newsletter, I have a I have the same settings uh, on a little quick card. You can print it out on a business card um, and take it with you and go out there and enjoy and get more out of your unit. Thank you for tuning in to this segment on the settings and mastering your electronics. It's very simple once you understand what those settings can do.